once you get into the business, like you have the the potential for growth is astronomical. I started off in this industry really because I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. We have had team members here that have started off at very basic installation level that have moved their way up through the ranks and now are currently project management. You could be a high school graduate, you could be a college graduate. The career path really starts with, you know, start out as a pre-wire guy. You work your way up, you can become a, uh, you know, a technician's helper, and then you become a technician and a lead technician. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're actually running the project. So my career progression started about 10 years ago as a helper doing the dirty work, crawling through attics, doing all the trenching, the digging, work my way up to becoming a lead. Then from there, I worked with the manager to become a programmer, get trained in that, get a couple certifications, and now here I am. Team mentoring is extremely important. And so our more experienced team members out there, you know, are able to guide the newer members of our team. I've started as, as, as an installer. You know, if you get in here and you want to excel, then you definitely will. You know what I mean? And if you want money, then you'll understand the certain aspects of the industry that can bring you more money than you would if you just plateaued at a certain level. There's not enough technicians, qualified technicians in this industry. The sky's the limit, quite frankly. Home technology and the need for that is only going to increase. We're not investing in learning a skill set that is going to become obsolete over time. The technology will change but the need for technology in our clients' homes is only going to increase as time goes on. 